purpose of the Stadium Experience Center is to take this incredible new facility that we're building in Orchard Park, shrink it down into this cool space and be able to show our fans all the unique offerings and amenities that are going to be there in a few years. Partner, Frank, good to good see to you. Good to see you. How Thanks you for having me. Well, my first experience was you walk in the door and you get an idea of how high end it is. And okay, here we go. It's, it's going to be kind of a ride here. What we hope to do is really show in the stadium experience how some of those design decisions we have taken responded to things that the Bills fans really said, hey, this is important to us. The Stadium Experience Center is for our fans, our longest uh, serving fans, season ticket holders. Our fans, I think, really want to understand all the thought, the effort that went into designing the new facility. The shroud, we're calling it to my right, is actually modeled after the shape of the new building. There's so many things to show them, to show them in a cool, controlled environment that talks a little bit about the past, looks to the future. Yeah, you know, a couple hundred photographs, just a really good snapshot of where we've been. It's such a new venue to show, whether it's parking or food and beverage. Best way to do that is to create an experience that really can immerse them in all those things at the same time. The favorite thing I, I saw was the model. Everybody's got questions about what this new building is going to look like. Every question you can think of, they've got an answer for them. What your seat's going to be like, how that transition's going to happen. The virtual nature of the presentation will spin you around and be able to show you any of that. Yeah, it's more than just uh, graphics and photography. It's the sights, it's the sounds. We want this to be really something special. We want it to be experiential. We want people to talk about it. We really want people to, to be immersed in the new stadium environment. This will be a lot of fun. That'll get a lot of commentary. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Everyone's <laughs> hearing about the buys and the buys and, right? Yeah, I think Bill's fans are, are going to love it. We're taking a huge leap. You know, our current building is 50 years old, and this facility is just day and night different from what our fans are used to. We want to make this an exciting part of their journey towards the new stadium because this is a part of their future. And I think bringing someone into a physical space, showing them a view from where their seat is going to be, I think all of that's really important and it's really material. It's going to stand out. I think that's the most amazing thing, that you're going to be able to get a feel for what it's really going to be like. What is the journey through the stadium experience? And I think the biggest challenge is how do you take something that's not even built yet and tell its story? And I started then, kind of in the way that I draw, started to draw out concepts. Um, and at each point of these, be able to work with our internal team and our partners to make sure that this all made sense. You start here, you go through, and then boom, you're out the door and hopefully you're excited about the future. This really is the beginning. As Legends brought on board, we found a really nice area that's in Williamsville. We knew what square footage we had to work with. I quickly started to just try to think about, you know, the flow. How do you, how you educate people in regards to what the, the stadium offers? No, we want the whole thing to come down. Carl? Yep. So you want it? That's pretty good. Now I think we got a couple, couple feet to the, to the right. I like it. What do you think, Tom? I like it. Working with Frank Cravata has been absolutely unbelievable to have someone so rooted in the community and so creative. Typically when we come into a marketplace and we're working with a team, there isn't someone like Frank within the organization that we can work so closely with. This kind of detail behind it. would start heavy here and then fade away. So it's a different feel. Like My previous job was in exhibit design and museum design. So I'm um, kind of suited for this type of project. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of talented people that have been part of this. I'm just one of them. I'm just worried that this triangle is perfect and we just have this white void if it gets over too far to the right. This whole stadium experience has really been the culmination of a lot of conversations that Frank and I have had about what makes sense in Buffalo, what is important to a Bills fan, and how can we make this something that's really, really exciting. So not only is the stadium built for Buffalo, the stadium experience itself is really built by Buffalo, it's built by Bills fans. It's about the fan, right? It's about the team, it's about the communities. I think for us it was really important to have this rooted in Bills history and tradition and, and make it feel like home. So for us, it's how do we make this a really fun, memorable, once-in-a-lifetime Bills fan experience. You know? 
And just to watch the pride that people have in it, electricians, carpenters, people are putting the glass in, the graphics, the signage, you can go on and on and on, and the support we're having from populace. It's a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to be part of, and just really exciting. The biggest challenges we had is that this is all custom made. Basically, we created a museum. Everything's a one-off. Hey, honestly, it's the biggest yeah. HGTV thing you've ever seen. We all know it's the details that make everything. You'll walk in the door, and this will be fully enclosed as if it's an actual executive suite in the venue. You're gonna get a sense of the sound system that's gonna be there, what the atmosphere's gonna be like. You're gonna be reminded of what it's like to be at a Bills game. You know, you have crowd noise, right? Yeah. So. It's, you hear it a little bit, but then when you come out here, it's exactly. louder. That would be perfect. That sense of the whole experience and the way they curate it and the detail they put into it is really what's going to make this worth your time. Please ask questions. We kind of want to walk through at a high level sort of how this comes together and why the design of the space. You really have to put someone in a situation where they can experience and visualize that. And oftentimes we see that people make a very different choice than they might have thought they would coming in. They maybe buy a different location or something else sticks out to them that's more important that they didn't realize because it doesn't exist in the current stadium. So ultimately the reason for building this is so that the Bills fans can come in here and make the best decision for where they're going to be. We just really want it to feel like they've made this fully informed choice. This is going to be great. I mean, this is going to give people an idea, right? Yep. Yeah, for sure. And when you walked in here, what we wanted to do is kind of just make you feel like you're surrounded by Bill's Mafia. As a former player, you kind of get a sense of what this new place is going to feel like. They're going to show you the details of stuff you may not see even when you go to the stadium. These are the sample designs for the new stalls. Yeah, this is a long way from, from where we've been. These. Yeah, this is nice. If you look, this may look familiar. Mm -hmm. That's the charge from charge, the logo. Yeah, from so the logo, yeah, yeah. That actually shows up in the facade yeah. of the building as well. We had a lot of back and forth about just the flow and your waiting and the anticipation and the sound and the sights and all of that became part of this story. We went through our archives, just found you know, a couple hundred photographs to tell the story in no particular order, but just a really good snapshot of where we've been. Yeah, when was that? I wonder when this was taken. This is a uh, look at look at that coat, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, good looking yeah, crew. Those, those are the boys. Yeah, the Thurman's Hall of Fame, I think. You can take our fans from that kind of macro, overarching view, uh, and then right after that, you can actually sit in the seat. So you go from the, the site to the seat to the view. Well, this is some of the exhibitry that we've created to kind of make it look like the steel structure in the new building. You know, we're exposing a lot of the steel beams, a lot of the, the guts, for lack of a better word, you know, will be exposed, clean, and painted. So it's not, you know, super tight as far as ceilings and things like that. The building feels industrial, right? Feels mm -hmm. buffalo. On these video monitors, we can show you what it looks like to sit in any one of the 60,000 seats in the oh, building. Oh, really? Yeah. Any seat in the stadium, they'll show you what it's going to look like. That's an amazing part of this whole thing. So, hey, where do you want? You want to go up? Sure, yeah. let's check it out. No, take me down a little bit. How about in the end zone? Amazing ability with the technology they have. Which end of the stadium? Which side of the stadium? How high in the stadium? What's going to be around me? When I'm sitting there, where's my nearest beer going to be, right? Well, here it is right here, you know? It's an awesome experience. I know this, people are going to love the new place. I've been to a ton of new stadiums. This generation will be the ones who talk to us like the old guys used to talk to us about the rock pile, right? right. But I think we're giving a gift by having it so close to the old place that it's going to still feel like home. This wall will have a rendering of what we're calling Family Circle. It's a public plaza, right, where all the greats, including yourself, are celebrated out in a public space. In front of that is this um, storytelling opportunity to talk about the region, like mm -hmm. the Seneca Nation story, the Underground Railroad, you name it, all the right. things that make this place special. You can kind of take that in and then the centerpiece, you've seen it, like the Falcons, right? They yeah, have the yeah. thing and, and the Bucks have their pirate ship and mm -hmm. you name it. So what better than to have um, American Bison greeting all of our fans. There's been a lot of talk about the Bisons out front, and we joke around at the office, we hear about it almost daily. 
We're spending a lot of time on the scale, the size, what they look like, what they feel like. It'll give fans kind of an idea of how big we think they should be, which I know there's a ton of debate about. Well, they're scaled right now is 16 feet tall. We like the size of it. We think it works for a variety of reasons. But if you were to look across at the stadium, out in front, you're going to have a park, right? What we want to do is kind of have everything that is important in the frame around that as you're walking through. Like these are so the early days here, almost two years ago, one of the first things that I downloaded was the world's largest buffalo in North Dakota. We all agreed that it's cool because it's big, but there's no emotion there, there's no detail. It's just big. If you were to create a bison that is 40 feet tall, right, you're kind of then taking all of the rest of what we're doing out of proportion. In this photo, the stadium would be tiny behind it. So the idea was like, we have to do something cool, but cool doesn't have to be the world's largest. This is the first time that we got to see a scale representation of a bison. We're not trying to say this is it. What we're saying is for scale, this helps tell that story. This is version two that Mike Hamby has done for us. And what I asked him to do is, is to give us an idea of what is the human scale next to this, which is super helpful. So there's a couple of things that are going on here. It's, it's showing scale and showing movement and detail. In the appropriate size, you can get an incredible amount of detail. As you get bigger, it's just harder and harder to make it as detailed as we want it. You know, the hair, even the ribs, right? The tail, the horns, the intensity in the facial expression of the bison are all super important. Most people are really looking up at it as you would in reality. That's why I try to get at the eye level of the scale figures, right? The whole piece is actually angled and turning down. If you can imagine the other one next to it would be doing maybe the same thing, both kind of charging, you know, and we, we can say that that may be into our brand a bit, you know, the charge and the, and the action and the movement of our more modern logo, right? It has action where a lot of the bison statues you see almost look like the old logo where it's just kind of standing there. We don't want that. Well, I think this will give people a cool sneak peek, early concept of vision. What it will help show is that this is built for Buffalo and appropriate and cool, like this is a cool factor. I hope that what's come across is that we dig into this deep. So the scale model fabricated in Las Vegas by a company, they're really talented. We made it. The worst of it was putting flag stuff. We are Modelworks AJT and we're an architectural model company. We have built architectural models for many types of projects around the world. When we heard Colin tell us that he had the new Highmark Stadium for us to build, it was just so exciting. And what's this moment feel like for you? Uh, I'm, I'm just always a little bit on edge because you know you have thousands of miles and thousands of bumps. Six days driving and uh, it was a very bumpy road. To find out that it was such a high-tech stadium, it's really an uptick in stadium design all across the board. And to be able to showcase that in the model was a challenge because we had to reinvent a few things. So we're always looking for innovative lighting techniques and new things coming out. And it seems like every year LEDs get smaller and better. As far as how much lighting is in there, I don't know. A lot. a lot. There's always a few different layers to everything that we do on the model. We're trying to mimic the way the renderings looked, and when we would, it just looked flat. So we ended up using three different colors of silver. These field goalposts are hand bent and made out of piano wire, and they're accurate to scale for uh, 1 16th of an inch equals a foot. Some of the most exciting details that we brought to life were the interiors, like the heated seats, and to be able to peer into the lounges. As we've discovered, the Bills fans are absolutely integral to the whole thing. So when Colin first approached us, it was important to him to present the tailgating. We've seen a lot of passionate fans before, but this really is on the next level. It gives you that sense of excitement of what the fans must feel and what they bring to each game themselves. It's unbelievable, truly seeing the scale of the building and how big the site plan is. Renderings certainly tell any story, they don't really tell the story, and I think it's really, really impressive. 
because that's really why we do the work we do, is to present a project for the very first time, create that sense of reality and experience. I think it's absolutely incredible. When I walked in, I was speechless. It's remarkable to us what these guys have done. That's insane. I did not expect it to be like that. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. So as you guys are looking at this, 100% to scale, all the people, the size of the plaza, like everything is, is authentic to what they're actually going to see in the stadium. Yeah, it captivates everything about the stadium that you need to know. It really makes it feel like it's, it's here, we're here, we're ready to go. I'm excited for everyone to see this. This model, it really will give fans the idea of how big the site, how big the building is. I tell people, look up at the game lighting, right? At the existing, yes. that's how tall the yeah, new building is. It's actually a little I taller. It's a little taller. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, people are going to be startled by that see it come to life in real time has been a lot of fun. What's interesting is that you come down here, you check it out, you're making progress, it's looking great, but it's part of just this larger, massive project that we're working on. I've been in Buffalo so long, you kind of get a sense of what the city's like. It's not LA, it's not Chicago, it's not Miami, it's not Houston, it's Buffalo. The details speak to that. When you really look around and take in why they put that floor covering there and that wall covering there and that color there, you think, oh yeah, that's, that makes a lot of sense to me. We all heard our stories about our grandparents and our friends and our older friends and their friends who were at the rock pile. My and father used to take me to the game. You know, mafia means family. And this stadium has been put together with a lot of thought and effort towards making sure we stay that way. You wouldn't recognize the National Football League without Buffalo. It's a town that you've been to a Bills game, you know what it is, you've got your seats, you've got your tailgate, you've got your people that you see, that you've got your stops that you make pre-game. It's gonna be a new life in this new stadium and you need to get started on it as soon as you can. I say to my friends and family, it's like, you know, Disney World for Bills fans. Every corner that you peek around, there's something new and cool to look at. Uh, and someone there with you the whole time to answer any questions. They'll take you by the hand and walk you through this whole thing. This is something you need to do. We think we've got it all covered, and we really look forward to opening. People grow up a Bills fan. Everybody's a Bills fan. Your mom, your dad, your sisters, your teachers, the cops, the firemen, and all of their families. And this is going to be the centerpiece of why this team, this town, this city supports the franchise. And this franchise has become a huge part of what the NFL is. I think it's going to pay a huge dividends for generations to come.